Hi, Stage 3, and welcome to today's visual arts lesson. We are going to be uh, sketching and then colouring this really vibrant watermelon slice. Uh, we have been talking about contrasting colours in our visual arts le lessons previously, and of course looking at those contrasting colours, so our warm colours of our reds, our yellows and oranges, and our cool colours of those blues, greens. And uh, so today we're looking at those colours within the colour wheel and you are going to need some tools to be able to accomplish this uh, task today. So you need a piece of paper, a lead pencil and any type of colouring tool that you might have at home. So textures, crayons, I'm using oil pastels, but if you've got watercolours or any type of paint, that would be great to use for today's task. Step one. So our first step we're going to do is... Uh, draw a half circle or a semicircle from one side of our page to the other and then link the two ends of that semicircle with a straight line across the top there. Step two is to draw the rind of the watermelon, so about uh, one and a half centimetres in from our previous semicircle and to follow that all the way around from one side to the other. Step three is nice and easy, just to create a base that our watermelon slice is sitting on. So from either side of the edge of the watermelon, just drawing out to the edge of the paper. Our next step is to grab our colours, and I'm going to be using an oil pastel. And we need a nice vibrant red. So this colour, as we talked about, we're looking at our contrasting colours and looking at warm and cool colours. So we need the red um, or a sort of like a bright, vibrant magenta or pink and to create that fleshy part of our watermelon. And we're going to colour that inside part of the semicircle. We need to colour that whole section in, leaving no white spaces and to make sure we've got that nice, vibrant, warm colour. Our next step is to grab a light green and a dark green. Of course, I'm using oil pastels, but textures, colored pencils are perfectly fine. I'm going to just uh, outline with dark green first around, first of all on the uh, outside of the semicircle, going all the way around the outside of the edge there in my darker green shade. I'm going to color that in and get a nice thick, I'll do a, a second line of that in a moment. So I'm getting that a little bit thicker and that edge of the rind of my watermelon, then I'm going to use the light green and just going along the side there, I'm continuing that along there and blending those colors together. And of course we know that the green is on our cool, one of our cool colors, and that makes a nice contrast against the warmth of the red. Looking at that, I've got that now that it's come to fruition, I am just making sure that I've got no white spaces in there and I can clearly see the dark green and the light green and the white up against the nice warmth of the red there. Then I'm going to grab my uh, blue oil pastels. So again, I need a light blue and a dark blue. And I'm just going to do the outside edge of where the uh, watermelon slice is resting on. So just starting off with the dark blue. And I'm going to create sort of like a little effect rolling there, just sort of like a little effect on the outside where I do those outside lines and just color that in. So I'm going to blend those together. And then I'm going to use the lighter blue to color the rest of that in there, most of what it's resting on. So I can see again that I'm creating that contrast between the warm and the cool colors and that really not that nice vibrancy is coming through. Again, making sure that I don't have any white spaces and that I'm coloring that all in and I can blend that. If I've got an oil pastel, of course, I could be blending that in a little bit better than I'm doing, but <laughs> keep going. So if you've got a, a uh, colored pencils or something like that you could shade or if you've got paint you could be using that and that should be our final effect there. My next step is to grab the yellow and the orange of course these are warm colors again and I'm going to just color in the outside part of my watermelon slice. So first of all drawing a line across the top there where they meet I'm going to color that in orange and then of course the top part I'm going to do in yellow. So all across the top there in a nice vibrant yellow color that in it. I can also smudge um, between the orange and the yellow 
So a little bit of blending I could take in there. And then I'm going to use the black and I'm going to outline and carefully trace uh, with the black uh, pastel. Uh, I always give everybody a warning about using black because it's very difficult to remove. So really make sure you use a steady hand as you go around the outside there. I'm also going to trace around the inside part of my red just to really make that watermelon slice pop a little bit more. So in there, keep a nice steady hand and just making sure you stay on the lines. Be very careful, nice and slow. Don't rush it. There we go. Across the top there. Keeping with the black theme, I'm just going to do those outside edges there. Trace along where the blue and the orange um, were meeting. And then, of course, I'm going to put in my little stripes along the side there. Some short dashes on the inside of the skin. This just adds an interesting detail to the picture. And then finally, I'm going to draw the seeds. So just finishing off those dashes on the outside edge there. And then of course, using the last part of the black just to color in the seeds. Now make sure when you're doing your seeds that you do them randomly all over the place. So not in lines. <laughs> As we know seeds just don't appear on, in straight lines in our watermelon. So we just need to have them sort of not really grouped together, but also sort of spread about and different sizes and different shapes, but also try to keep them small. Um, so maybe some are very tiny and then others a little bit larger, but generally trying to keep them and not smudging, but trying to keep them really sporadic about the, the picture. And there we go, your artwork is almost complete. So the last of the seeds there, and there we go. We have your fantastic uh, watermelon slice. And you might like to post this on your class seesaw account.